a very good day to all our channel life sciences finer nuances extend a very warm welcome to all this channel is hosted by dr rakesh kumar singh and myself dr rekha shrivastav of government motilal vigyan mahavidyalay bhopal it caters to the needs of all students learners educators uh, researchers and enthusiasts who wish to explore the wonderful world of life sciences we shall be updating our channel regularly with most recent updates which you will find very interesting please watch us like and subscribe our channel dear viewers this time we have brought a very very important topic not only for the learners but also for the conservationists the ecologists and those who are worried about nature this topic is threatened and endangered species worldwide as we all know the changing climate and various other factors like poaching killing retaliation killing all these factors have led to many species getting endangered and some of them are threatened this time we have compiled a list of those animals which are very important economically and they are threatened the list includes asiatic lion bengal tiger one horned rhinoceros snow leopard elephant black buck dolphin blue whale sea otter gorilla and so on and so on a question that is always perplexed us that what is the difference between threatened and endangered species it is a very very important a uh, point which you should know threatened species is a species that is in danger of becoming endangered whereas endangered species is a class higher or we can say it is a class higher in case of danger that is a species that is very likely to become extinct in near future we have tabulated how we can classify uh, the threatened species that is and again how we can say that they are vulnerable endangered or they are critically endangered dear learners in continuation with our previous topic endangered and threatened species today we'll speak about a very unique animal and that is asian elephant the name of that animal is elephas maximus this is unique because it is the largest land animal on earth and with their long noses trunks floppy ears thick legs there is no other animal with a similar physique they can display empathy and they are symbol of good luck destroyer of evil and removal of obstacles you can see in the picture at the backdrop we have shown the areas where elephants are predominantly found you can see the areas marked in red that is uh, basically in india sri lanka borneo sumatra and that is indonesia which are clearly marked the elephants also have a unique position of being named as ecosystem engineers here is the taxonomic position asian elephant the elephas maximus is the only living species of the genus elephas asian elephants inhabit grasslands tropical evergreen forests and their life span is about 48 years they are herbivorous in their diet and one unique thing about elephants is that they form social groups and which are matriarchal herds of about 8 to 12 in number 
whereas males are mostly solitary. Here are the four major species of which three are predominant. That is Maximus, Indicus, Sumatranus, and Boniensis. One very uh, dangerous fact about Asian elephant is that their number is constantly declining, with only 40,000 to 50,000 of them left in the wild. Elephus Maximus Maximus. This subspecies was first described by Carl Linnaeus, and the range of this subspecies is limited to Sri Lanka island of the southern coast of India, which is depicted in blue in the for back of this picture. Sri Lankan elephants are the largest subspecies reaching a shoulder height between 2 to 3.5 meters and the important thing about these elephants is that their skin color is darker than Indicus and Sumatranus subspecies and they are identified by patches of depigmentation which are portions of skin without color which you can see in the backdrop picture. Sri Lankan elephants are also very social animals and it is very interesting to note that there are two types of herds, nursing units made up of lactating elephants and the other herd, other unit is of juveniles and their mothers. Uh, their lifespan is about 55 to 70 years. The subspecies Elephus maximus indicus or the Indian elephant, they are found throughout Southeast Asia. You can see in the uh, backdrop picture, they are clearly marked in the map with red. The Indian elephants are smaller than African ones and their diet includes grass, leaves and they are very much mega herbivores constantly eating. And one more important thing is about maximum indicus is that they are very important in Asian culture and considered to be holy in Hindu religion. The Indian elephants have dark dry skin with small amount of stiff hair and gray to brown color which you can see in the picture. The average elephants stand 8 to 10 feet tall. The females weigh about 6,000 pounds. And another in interesting thing about these elephants is they are also matriarchal family groups of related females called the, the herd. And they are led by the oldest and often the largest female. And the herd consists of 8 to nearly 100 individuals. Males may be temporarily associated with the herd, but later on they move away from the herd. These are very social animals and move from forest to forest. And a very special thing about is that they are very uh, precious because of their tusks. The tusk is ivory colored and it is said to be very symbolic and carving is also done on ivory tusks which is not environment friendly. Elephants uh, tusk can also weigh up to 22 kg a pair. These animals, the Elephus maximus sumatranus, it is found in the island of Sumatra and one more important factor is that it is found in the altitude of about 1750 meters but they prefer to live in lowland and they also need to keep themselves 
school so that you must have seen them spraying on themselves. In the backdrop picture, you can see the areas of Sumatra marked in red. Sumatran elephants can reach a shoulder height between 2 to 3.2 meters and weight between 2,000 to 4,000 kg. Their skin color is lighter than that of Indicus. They contain more than 60,000 muscles on their trunk. You can very well see in the picture the large trunk which is seen and they have one of the strongest tusks in the elephant species. Elephant's maximum boniensis is the only one which is found in the island of Borneo. They are the largest land animals in the island of Borneo and they last shared a common ancestor with its Asian kin years ago. Isolated from other subspecies, they have evolved separately in the island of Borneo, never exchanging genes with the population of other elephants. You can see in the picture and the backdrop the place where they are found, the Borneo Island, marked in red. Borneo elephant shares many features in common with its Asian relatives. Some of them are their head is two domed. You can see in the picture small rounded ears, four hooves in the hind foot, gray skin and tiny spouts of hail. They also exhibit many physical differences, including straightened tusks and longer tail. They are about 9.8 feet tall and 11,000 pounds in weight and their population around the world is 1,500. And again, an endangering factor is that their population is falling to 60% since 1980. Learners, we have shown a very interesting video collaborating with the features, the unique features of elephants. They are very social animals as you can see, they are moving about in herds with the young ones, the juveniles along with their mothers and they have very extraordinary memory because they have very highly developed neocortex that enables it to recognize itself in mirror and also solve complex problems. These are also known to mimic behavior. You can see very well the little ones are playing, engaging themselves in small games and they have a feel, a range of complex emotions. The two pictures which we have pasted at the backdrop you can see tears coming out of their ear, eyes and this is due to the grief, the mourning of their dead. So we can, uh, we can now state that elephants are one of the very, very unique animals on land. Now we come to a very important aspect that is the threats to Elephus Maximus. Once common throughout Africa and Asia, the sad part is their number is being drastically getting down in the 19th and 20th centuries. Some populations are stable, but some are threatened and endangered as per IUCN. Elephants with tusks are more vulnerable to poaching for their tusks. And according to researchers, elephants which do not have tusks, they have to make their own efforts for their natural survival. Elephants are known to protect themselves by using the loud trumpet voices and also their trunks, they are most commonly elephants use their long tusks to strike anyone that threatens them. Besides this, Project Elephant is a central government scheme which was launched in 1992. There are 30 notified elephant reserves in the country spread over 15 states. 
The major strategies involved include preventing illegal killing, project elephant habitat, the monitoring threats to protect elephants, the reduced ivory demand and its trafficking. The WWF also works to secure elephant population for the long term by maintaining habitat significantly reducing existing threats and building support for conservation of the population. Currently, international elephant conservation measures focus on controlling ivory stockpiles and preventive methodologies. Direct species protection work includes training and equipping rangers and eco-guards to monitor and protect elephant populations. Elephant corridors. What are elephant corridors? You can see in the backdrop various pictures of elephant corridors, which are narrow pathways between natural habitats of elephants that allow elephants to move freely from one habitat patch to another. The movement of elephants is essential to prove that they are genetically viable. According to latest data, there are 101 corridors across India, and these corridors are mostly found in the states of Chhattisgarh, Orissa, and Jharkhand. The most important line, which we should always remember, and the tagline, or, and the most important line about our presentation is, only elephants should own ivory. No other person, no other human being has a right to own ivory for any purpose whatsoever. Well, this brings to an end the topic of the day and the finer nuances related to it. I'm sure you must have liked it. And if you do have any queries, you're most welcome. Please do contact us and of course, you can always uh, correspond with us. You can correspond with us on our email ID lifesciences.finalnuances at gmail.com.